Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have Can't one either. Can't say I missed you. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The plan is solid. The aim is to help Didn't you out. Muddy in the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plum fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques. We only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out, want to cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's an AI from out past the Black Wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold, isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner? Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how.
Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Eyes filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, brother. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because mm -hmm. for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Alt. Got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked him when the temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech. That's what happened. Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right?
Peachy. Good. Real good. Hey, what about a flick? The shard. Been out in a while. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Oh, Please. I know. We're Can surrounded by homicide? ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Salt. He came around looking for you. On my way. Excuse me. I didn't mean to. So, you want an award? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. So. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. Well, it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldecaldo, dammit. Great Thanks for everything, V. And don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the way of it? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! Come on, V! Welcome to the clan! Say your piece! Don't know what to say. It's about time you did. No, like... I really don't. Never expected this. Thank you. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. So bask it in when you found glory. You could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Snug as a glove. Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you? I'll be up there. Of course! Anything else? Mom? I might have. You have to look around. What's this? So maybe I'll Yard take two more some 45s. Sort. This engine is Dakota take seems to be feeling generous today. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, Fuck. pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. spot up there. Quiet. Would you rather be alone, maybe? Oh, please. I just need to get away from everything but for a minute. To gather my thoughts before tomorrow. Try not to bother you then. So 
I'm nice here. Mm-hmm. Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Nobody's dying tomorrow, Pan Am. You don't know that. The fam. They're tougher than you think. Bullets don't distinguish between tough and weak. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? I try my damnness not to think about it. So do I. But the harder I try, the worse it gets. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. <laughs> 